Hello, welcome to the Monday, May 5th, 2014 edition of the UFO Planet Sightings Report. I'm Darren Crapel. Thanks for joining me. Today, we begin our journey into the unknown in Boise, Idaho. A large bell-shaped UFO was spotted by someone traveling down Chinden Boulevard around 8.15 in the morning on May 1st. The shooter described the sighting as a massive bell-shaped object hovering in the sky that appeared to be larger than a hot air balloon. The object was viewed in the sky for around five minutes before it descended below the tree line, and these two photos are the only evidence that was captured of the, the object. The photo shooter questioned others in the area who tried to convince him that all he had witnessed was a hot air balloon. So what do you think? The next video comes to us from an unknown location in Kentucky, USA. The person who shot the video says he received a lot of criticism from his family when he told them about the UFO sighting, but that wasn't going to deter him. That one's pretty extreme too. I can't believe I'm seeing so many tonight. This is insane. Unless it's the same one. The shooter says that he shot multiple UFO videos that evening, but only submitted this video, saying that he wasn't going to provide any more details or videos until a researcher contacts him in person. If I can re make this recommendation to people who submit videos and photos for research, it would be to be sure to include all the information with your submission so that researchers just don't pass right by it. The easier you make it for them, the more likely that they'll investigate for you. Midwest City, Oklahoma is the scene of our next sighting report. From the sounds of the video, a family witnessed the sighting together as parents can be heard dropping the F-bomb as children are talking and playing in the background. Watch the babies. I can't even see it. It's right here behind the tree. That one stopped. That one's right there and the other one fell. That one's still moving fast. It went down. That's why it disappeared. It's down. Now we're off to Antwerp, Belgium for a UFO footage filmed by Peter on May 3rd around 2300 hours. Peter says that the setting looks almost like the ISS, but he knows it was not the ISS because he's filmed the ISS many times in the past and this object was traveling on the opposite direction from its normal path of the space station. Peter says, and I quote, if you watch in slow motion and look closely, you can see that the orb is getting smaller as if it's flying upwards at a very high speed. For me, this confirms definitely a UFO and not a satellite or something mad made, end quote. Peter operates a UFO channel on YouTube called UFO Sightings 2014. Check him out. Our final sighting of the day comes from my area of the world, a small village called Marlboro, Alberta. A UFO spotter noticed an object with red and green lights flying low within the tree line beside the highway. The person who shot this photo says, and I quote, as I was getting closer, I noticed these lights were not moving and they appeared bigger. It was nothing of significance to us as we thought it was perhaps some sort of a tower. Finally, we passed a small grove of trees and were able to have a direct visual on the lights. We saw red, green, blue, purple lights blinking, sort of pulsing around quite fast. There was also a light at the bottom, like a dome light rotating a beam of white, yellow light illuminating the ground and trees, end quote. The object was described as being about three to 400 feet from the witnesses, fairly large. They described it as maybe six cars wide and very difficult to capture on video. When the witnesses returned home, they discovered that most of the photos and videos that they thought that they had captured on their cell phones and other devices weren't there as expected. Absolutely fascinating. Marlboro, Alberta. So a lot of you have been asking about the story for me to update you, the haunting of my home here. And so I thought I'd do that a little bit today. Um, I had an experience here the other day at about 2.30 in the morning. 
I was awoken by a large crashing sound in my home and I came down the hallway to my studio where the sound seemed to originate from and one of my monitors that's been mounted for over a year decided to fall off or come detached from its base and crash to the floor. And then I did a little bit of looking around and the screws that hold the base into the monitor were actually removed. And I put them in there myself. So your guess is as good as mine as to what it was. And then when I was recording the uh, Saturday show here, I was sitting here recording the program and as plain as day, I heard the sound of a little girl's voice out in the hallway that said, Hey there, Darren. And so I stopped recording. I thought someone had come in my front door because I had it unlocked and uh, had come into my home and was trying to get my attention. But when I got out there, the hallway was dark and so was the rest of the house and there was no one here. So those kind of things continue to happen. I have no idea what they are. They never harm me, but they certainly have given me heart palpitations from time to time. Nonetheless, it's kind of exciting to live somewhere that has that going on. I don't recommend it for the faint of heart, though. If you've seen a UFO or had a UFO encounter recently and would like to share your experience with us here on UFO Planet Daily Sightings Report, drop me an email, darren at 4u2ctv.com. Please include the date, location, and description in the body of an email, of the email. I promise you, I look at those videos first. If I have to go looking for the information, they might not even get looked at. So keep that in mind when you're submitting. I appreciate everyone watching the program today. Have a fantastic Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow on the UFO Planet Sightings Report.